Well, her birthday, Joy always says, it's Carlina's birthday, July 15th. They never forgot about their little Carlina. Even after two decades passed, every year on Carlina White's birthday, her family said a little birthday wish. When her birthdays came, we would just say, oh, it's her birthday, it's Carlina's birthday, and Joy would say, oh, I miss my baby, I miss my daughter so much. She was only 19 days old when she was kidnapped. Carlina White was taken from the Harlem Hospital back in 1987. Police say she was snatched by a woman posing as a nurse at the hospital. For 23 years, she remained missing, until one day, the girl who had grown up as Nedra Nance started asking questions. She was suspicious, she was convinced that there was something wrong. And she told us, I don't know who I really am. And I think I might be a missing person. Small clues like no birth certificate or social security card led her to the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children's website. There she saw a photo that had a striking similarity to herself. A DNA match would confirm her suspicions. The DNA test confirmed uh, that she was not who she was told uh, she was, but that she was that, that baby who was abducted uh, 23 years ago. She is Carlino White. A remarkable story with quite an ending, but the mystery is only half solved. As Carlina White reunites with her birth parents, police investigate the family she grew up with to see what clues they can gather on her abduction. Natural instinct is, okay, what's been going on for 23 years? And we're trying to figure that out right now. Instead of 23 years of family photos, Elizabeth White hangs on to newspaper clippings. She says as a grandmother, she never gave up hope, believing that this day would come, the day she would welcome Carlina home. I look for somebody to knock on my door every day to say that they had found her. And then, as, you know, as the years went by, she started to get older and older. I said, well, maybe one day she'll find her way back to her mother herself, and she did. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.